it is observed that normally very few diseases occur on oil palm. The most common oil palm diseases are bud rot, stem wet rot, basal stem rot and bunch rot. Plants affected by bud rot show yellowing of spear leaves subsequently turning to brown. The spear then collapses and can be easily pulled out. To control this disease, affected tissues in the crown are removed and drenched with 0.1% solution of streptomycin sulphate plus carbendazine. When the disease is in the advanced stage, leaves surrounding the spear should be cut and affected tissue should be removed layer by layer till fresh tissues are seen and smeared with 1% streptomycin sulphate plus carbendazim paste. Stem wet rot infestation is seen as a chocolate brown discoloration of the leaflets of the outer whorl of the leaves followed by necrosis which is the first symptom on the crown. Necrosis progresses towards the inner whorl of the leaves and results in death of the palm. To detect the disease, pierce a sharp iron rod or auger into the bowl region, which gives out a yellowish liquid. If the liquid gives putrefied smell, the palm should be subjected to trunk surgery immediately. Trunk surgery removes the affected fibrous tissues from inside the trunk. Outer stem tissues and front buds should be chiseled and the innermost disease tissues removed first. This should be followed by the pasting of a protective covering with streptomycin sulphate plus carbendazine plus monocrotophores. Follow this with application of hot cold tar to protect the wound from invading microorganisms. If the disease is in its initial stage, root feeding or stem injection with 1% streptomycin sulphate is to be given three times at five to seven days interval. The symptoms of basal stem rot are withering, yellowing and orange discoloration of the leaves followed by necrosis on one side of older leaves with appearance of light brown lesions or rotting of bowl to fibrous mass at stem base. Desiccated leaves drop or break at some point along the rashes. The disease also produces dry rot of internal tissue at base of trunk. Basal stem rot can be controlled by removal and destruction of the dead and diseased palms to prevent the spread of the disease. The affected palm should be isolated from neighboring palms by forming a trench 1 meter deep and 30 centimeters wide at 3 meters diameter from the palm base. The affected palm should be given 5 kilograms of neem cake per year. Combine this with soil application of trichoderma species multiplied on farmyard manure at the rate of 5 to 15 kilograms per palm at 2 to 3 months interval. Adequate moisture level should be maintained while applying trichoderma species in soil. Combine this with application of organic manures in the palm base to maintain the biocontrol agent in the soil. During early stages, bunch rot affected oil palm shows strands of mycelium spreading over bunch surface. This is particularly more at the back of the bunch against the subtending leaves where conditions are very moist. At later stages, mycelium grows over the fruit surface and penetrates mesocarp, leading to bunch rot. To manage the disease, remove the dead inflorescence, bunch stalks, aborted bunches before onset of the monsoon and after each harvest. Clean the infected palms and spray carbondasm at the rate of 1 gram in 1 liter of water during pre-monsoon, monsoon and post-monsoon. Also, maintain crown hygiene and follow ablation in palms of below 3 years of age. Save the palms from disease infestation, attain good growth and yield.